Hi everyone, it's Charles at Empress Mills and I'm delighted to be here with our latest fabrics of the week. Um, this week we have picked you a selection of printed dimple fleeces. Um, the printed dimple fleece range has proved super popular since we introduced it. These six designs are the favourites from the entire collection. We've picked you the, we've picked you the real popular ones. Um, but the print in general, we think, shot to popularity mainly because we had all got used to, or, or certainly at Empress, got used to only plain dimple fleeces being available. So the designs were almost a novelty in themselves to get good quality, particularly good quality designs, um, where there is the detailing on them, was a little bit of a treat. Um, so we introduced the range, I think it was about 18 months ago, and we had every new design that we can get. These are from the 2022 release. They came in towards the uh, back end of last year. And as I say, these six that we've chosen for you today are by far the most popular from the entire collection. Uh, but of course, you can browse the collection itself um, on the website. But these six are the favourites for this week for you. Um, so to look at the fleece itself in a little bit more detail before we... My notes disappearing off the side. Um, before we get into the design detail, I am sure most of you will know... Um, probably will have used dimple fleece in the past, but for those who haven't or who would like to see it in a little bit more detail, here we go. Um, it is a gorgeously soft fleece on the lighter side of the fleece range, so just to give you a little bit of a feel, there we go, That's you know it's got, got a very, very nice drape to it, very, very soft to the touch, and it almost has I don't want to call it a true pile because it, it's, it's not got any fluff to it at all, but it's got a very silken feel, almost a velvety soft um, plush finish to it across, the, across all of the fabric itself. Um, as part of the manufacturing process, as the name would suggest, it's then had these dimples added, which are across the entire width of the fabric um, as a guide to the spacing each dimple is about a centimetre from uh, from the other, uh, from the one closest to it. The dimples themselves, uh, as a guide, are probably, a quick estimate, probably about eight millimetres to a centimetre wide in them uh, in themselves. Why add the dimple, I hear you ask? Really, it just adds some interest to the fabric. It stops it from being a plain flat fabric with a design on it. It just gives it a little bit of something extra from both a, an aesthetic point of view and from a touch, it gives it a lovely, lovely textured feel. Um, because while the dimples, you can feel them, they are, they are still soft, so you're just getting a nice, soft, textured feel to the fabric itself. Um, so yes, that is dimple fleece in a nutshell. Let's take a look at the designs themselves. We've picked six, as I mentioned earlier. They are the best sellers from the range. Um, basically there's three designs, um, there's three designs in two colours each. This is the one we've been looking at actually as part of that, but just to show you in a bit more detail, this has got the gorgeous little teddy bear with the cloud above him and also little stars coming out from the bottom of the cloud and the rainbow as well. It's a really, really nice design and we've got that in both the blue and this dusty pink colourway as well in that same design. So there's those two. And then we've got these two. Now this is, let me get the name for it. This is Sun and Rain that we're moving on to now. In the dusty pink first this time, we've got Sun and Rain. Let's have a quick peek. There we go. And it's got that fabulous little star on as well. Hopefully we're picking that up nicely for you there. So we've got that one, and again, the same design, but in that lovely blue colour. Just so you can take a quick peek. And then finally, these two designs, which are both called, let me get the name right, then you can find it on the website. These are both called Starry Sky. This is the dusty green version of Starry Sky. And you've just got this wonderful little cloud with the stars hanging out from it as well. 
that's in the dusty green and also in this colorway which i have saved till last because i just wanted to mention it quickly for you it's called on the website sand but it's almost got this print a lemony feel to it let me just get this out for you but it's almost got this lemon touch so yes sand i know where they're coming from and um, the manufacturer when they've called it that but it's got this sort of very very soft lemon shade to it almost but again very very pretty so there we go they are the six designs that we've picked out this week for you what do you use dimple fleeces for absolutely all sorts of projects obviously these designs in particular have that novelty nature they are designed for children yes absolutely so these um and well and all the dimple fleeces perfect for baby blankets cushions anything along those sort of lines uh my little one sofa who's now four she's turning five in in may growing up very fast um she had quite a few little baby blankets in the um uh, in the dimple fleeces they're brilliant for children's projects for all kiddies projects really because they wash exceptionally well they don't lose the dimple they wash very well and a little quick tip from mum about if you if you are washing them don't use um what do you call it the um Nat's behind the camera, shout it out. Nat, what am I trying to say? Fabric softener. Don't use fabric softener. That was, <coughs> it was in there. It was in there. Don't use fabric softener. It just, it, it changes the texture of the uh, of the dimple fleece a little bit. It clings to it a little bit too much. Don't use fabric softener. I got it that time. <laughs> um, in general, though, for projects, you can use dimple fleece for cushions. It adds that nice texture to cushions. For quilt backs, it is wonderful because it gives you some warmth. It's a wide width, so it covers most of the quilt, if not all of it, depending obviously on the size of your quilt. And again, it's just got that nice soft texture to be on the back of the quilt, to be the side that is touching you or whoever you made the quilt for. Um, but yes, used right across all sorts of products. Toy making is the other one, very popular for toy making. Again, the dimple just adds something interesting to the toy itself. Um, so yes, all sorts. The key thing to stress though, very, very good um, for washing. So you've no need to worry about that. Pop it in 30 degree cycle. It will, it will come up looking an absolute treat um, if it has been marked at all. Um, so there we go. The six designs, they're all in the Fabric of the Week section now for you. There's more designs on the website too, but these six, as I say, we've picked out specially for you. I hope you like them. As always, if you need any extra information on these or any of the fabrics or haberdashery items on the website, just leave a message in the comments underneath the video or, of course, email or don't hesitate to call us. Thank you very much indeed for watching and see you again soon. Bye-bye.